So, mm -hmm. Doctor, you decided to give your husband coconut oil. What mm -hmm. were your expectations, and, and mm -hmm. what did you see in really a relatively short amount of time? Yeah, um, well, the interesting thing in the patent application, their first their pilot study, um, they showed that people after the first dose had improved scores on cognitive testing. It was something like five out of seven tests that they did. They mm -hmm. had improved scores. And um, they... Um, um, so, but the other thing too was that people who were um, apolipoprotein E4 negative were much more likely to improve. Other people who were positive for that gene um, as a group did not improve. And Steve, I knew at that point, was positive for that gene. So I, I didn't really expect anything. I didn't expect any improvement for him. But I felt like, what do we have to lose? Um, and um, basically what happened, uh, he went to the first screening. Um, this was like at 1 a.m. that I learned this information. Okay. And the screening was at 9 a.m. the next morning. So I didn't have time to run out and buy coconut oil. Sure. So um, uh, we went to that screening. And he um, still didn't qualify. He got a score of 14 out of 30. He qualified in every other respect, but not that. Mm -hmm. um, the interesting thing that happened that day that ties into the, the, the long story, the longer version, is that um, she had him draw a clock, too. And um, it was a, the clock test for Alzheimer's. It's a very specific test that can kind of see where a person's at, mild, moderate, severe, mm -hmm. based on the test. And he drew a few little random circles and a few numbers. And it really wasn't organized like a clock. And um, that was a bit shocking for me. Um, to see, and she told me that she felt he was on the verge of severe Alzheimer's. Um, and I myself felt that he was kind of on a downward spiral at that point. So on the way home, I thought, what have we got to lose? I'm going to go pick up some coconut oil. So I made a, a big detour <laughs> about an hour away from where we live to the only place I had ever seen it. And it's everywhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I didn't know that at that point. And picked up some coconut oil. And um, when I got home, I... Um, research coconut oil, um, had to kind of do a little biochemistry 101 refresher, like which are the medium chain triglycerides, and right. I was able to find a fatty acid analysis uh, breakdown. Um, it's on the USDA website, um, and I figured out that coconut oil is almost 60 percent medium chain triglycerides. And um, from the dose that they were using for this medical food, I was able to figure out how much coconut oil to give Steve, right. and that turned out to be a little over two tablespoons okay. was equivalent to their dose. So the next morning, um, uh, he had a screening scheduled at one in the afternoon. And for breakfast, I gave him um, a little over two tablespoons of coconut oil. <clears throat> I put it into oatmeal mm -hmm. because coconut oil is a little bit solid at room temperature. Mm -hmm. And uh, he ate it without any problem. I actually had a little bit of indigestion myself. I took, I took it too. I thought, I'm not going to make him take sure. something that I won't take. <laughs> and um, his screening was scheduled for one in the afternoon. And um, on the way down, you know, I tried to remind him what the day of the week was and the season. He couldn't even pull the word spring out, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he couldn't remember the word. And I really didn't think he was going to do any better. And um, when we got down there, they took him away. And he came back in the room, and he didn't really feel like he had done very well on the test. But a nurse came in, and she starts taking his blood pressure and talking about drawing blood. And I said, what's happening? And she said, well, he scored an 18, and he actually met the criteria for the study. So we were overjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I didn't really know at that point if it was the coconut oil, good luck, yeah. <laughs> prayers, you know, what it was exactly. But decided that we would keep the coconut oil going. And... Um, I uh, just researched everything I could get my hands on about ketones, medium chain triglycerides, coconut oil, you know, um, gave him uh, a little over two tablespoons every morning for breakfast. So I measured it out and then started cooking with it the rest of the day. I just started substituting it for other things in the diet. And what I found, um, in addition to, you know, the improved score, was that he had, he was more alert in the morning. Um, he used to come out very sluggish and uh, not uh, very conversant in the morning, and he couldn't find, you know, remember how to get water out of the refrigerator door and, you know, um, <clears throat> confusion about utensils and things like that. And, and he just came out with a lot more energy and more animation in his face, um, more personality, um, joking with me, 
uh, could find the water, you know, these kind of things started happening. Mm -hmm. And about the fourth or fifth day into it, you know, we uh, talked about how that our life had changed for the better. I mean, he felt so much better. And he said to him, it was like the light switch went on the day he started mm -hmm. the coconut oil, that a fog lifted. Um, and he really felt like he had gotten his life back mm -hmm. and had hope for the future. He'd been quite depressed up to that point. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So you, you continue to see improvement over, over the weeks and months. Mm -hmm. What happens when, I mean, ultimately you're going to forget a dose or something's going to happen, uh -huh. travel yeah. appointments or something. <laughs> did you notice anything on those mm -hmm. days too? Yes. Um, yeah, we did have a couple of occasions like that. He uh, One time he had fasting blood work and um, it was the line was so long <laughs> mm. that it was noon by the time, um, you know, he had gotten his dose of coconut yeah. oil, but he was very shaky and... He felt a little claustrophobic and he had trouble, um, well, his tremor. He had had a tremor that had basically gone away and that, that came back um, and just more confused. And um, 20 to 30 minutes after we gave him the coconut oil, then he, you know, he, he almost like sighs and, you know, the, the tremor uh, mm -hmm. goes away and he can think more clearly. Uh, so we had a couple of occasions um, that we saw that happen. Mm -hmm. So it literally, acts like an, an energy and if you don't have it it's like if your tank runs out of gas your car doesn't run mm -hmm. you know uh, and it was almost uh, something like that that we were seeing mm -hmm.